Alright, so in this video we're going to be modelling a staircase and we're going to use something that we've not talked about yet on this channel which is modifiers. So I've got a brand new project and we've got the default cube. I'm going to leave the default cube there this time because we probably know how to add one by now. But one thing that I'm going to do that I'm not sure if I've done in the previous videos is go up to the shading drop down up here and I'm going to choose matte cap and I'm going to enable shadow and cavity. And then I'm just going to pick a different one of these, so I think I might go with this one. And I can crank up the ridge and the valley a bit, so it makes it a bit easier to see what you're doing, instead of just that grey colour. So we've got the default cube, and I'm going to go to this little modifier properties um, spanner icon here. So this is where we add our modifiers. So I'm going to click add modifier, and I'm going to go to array. And what that's done is make a second copy of this. If I move the scale here for the X, we can see that this controls the gap in between. So I could crank this up to like 10. And then we can see we've got 10 cubes with a gap of 1.1. So I'm gonna leave this on one. And because we're making a staircase, I'm going to set the Z to one as well. So then we've got it going up like this. Okay, so next thing I want to do is tab into edit mode and then I can go on scale and I can scale these out. I can also adjust the height if I want them to be a bit smaller that way. Or we can have little stairs or huge stairs. Um, so I think I'll do them a bit wider like that. Okay, so that's the basic stair shape there. And then what I'm going to do next is make a little ridge that goes up each side. So I'm going to tab out of edit mode, I'm going to do shift D to make a second copy of this and then I'm going to right click just to lock it back to its original place. I'm going to go up to the top right, double click and rename the first one stairs and the second one ridge so I can see what I'm working on here. I'm going to hide stairs and then I'm going to make sure I'm selected on ridge, tab into edit mode and now I'm going to make a loop cut and I'm going to drag the loop cut right the way about here because I just want this little bit here to be the ridge, just this bit here. So I'm going to select this face and this face, just these two, and then I'm going to go select invert so that will select everything else apart from these two. Press delete and delete faces. So now I'm left with just these two. And all these others are just the array, so they're not actually inside the model. Like I can't edit them at the moment. So I've just got that. And then what I'm going to do next is add a solidify modifier. And then I can turn my stairs back on. So we can see we've got this shading issue and that's because the faces from the ridge and the faces from the stairs are on the exact same position. So they're sort of fighting for who is going to be shown. So to fix that we just need to change the position just slightly. So I'm going to turn off the overlays at the top so we can see exactly what we've got going on here. So location, minus 0.01 and for the Z we can just change that to 0.01. So we can see that's fixed the issue there. And then next up, I can go down to my solidify. I can change the thickness. So we can see that that's actually going the wrong way. So I need to change the offset to one. And now we've got the thickness going the right way. Um, so if we want, we can make that a bit thicker. We can see that the angles are looking a bit dodgy there. So we need to go to even thickness. And then that's looking a lot better. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do, because we've only got it on one side, is add another modifier. And this one is going to be mirror. So it's mirroring it at the moment, but it's going the wrong way. So we need to untick X and turn on Y. So there's our basic staircase there. We could go in and 
maybe add a slight bevel. So I'll tap into the edit mode on the stairs and I'll select this edge here. Bevel, bevel that a bit. And then while we're, while we're dragging, we can use the scroll wheel to add a couple of extra slices there. And then we're gonna to need to bevel the ridge as well. So I'm gonna select the ridge, tap into edit mode. And because this is solidified, with a modifier, we don't actually have access to this geometry here. All we've got is these two. So all we need to do is select this one here and then bevel, crank up the cuts there. And that's it. We can do shade smooth on this and shade smooth on this. And then we just need to go into the normals and enable auto smooth for both of them. I've now got a curved staircase. We can always add more stairs. So we just go into the stairs, turn up the count to maybe 15, go into the ridge, turn up that count to 15. And then maybe we'll go and add our materials. So I can go on the stairs, Maybe do it something like a red staircase. Don't want a lot of specular. 0.1. It's a bit too much. 0.01. Yeah, it's good. And then to the ridge. I need to tab into edit mode to apply that. And then maybe we can just make this like a metal. Maybe we make it like a gold. Yeah, so there we've got a gold. Maybe I'll tab into edit mode and I'll select these side faces and I'll make these gold as well. So. Thing to fill this gap, I'm gonna go back into solidify, and I think I'll change the offset to 0 0.9. There we go, perfect. So I hope that's helped you understand a little bit about modifiers and what they can do. We're going to be going a lot more in depth with the these modifiers and other modifiers because there's so much more you can do with them. So thanks a lot for watching this video and thank you to everyone who's subscribed to the channel so far. I'm going to be getting a lot more videos on as soon as possible.